So guys, we're in the Super Bowl here. Hey, welcome back everybody to Las Vegas, Nevada. Super Bowl it's the Vikings 58. in possession of the football as we get right back to it in the third quarter. Line of scrimmage, again the four yard line. Second and goal. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Delvin Cook with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Vikings will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now this one to his on, tight end out. out on the right side. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many inches. times. Okay. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And this is going to come up well short as they yeah, stop we'll get the ball down. back. No dice for Sean McDermott in the offense. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. Well, they clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call, but how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Uh, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Bing. Goes right side, and that's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 36 yards on the play. Even with the big they lead here in the fourth, it still open. bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. Cook will take this into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Three plays. That was it. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Oh, that snapped, was a bad one. They called for the heavy unit, oh, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it out past the 30. 
Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Throwing now is Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. Oh, that's into his two bodies, and it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Herbert's throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Score this touchdown. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And he'll get into the touchdown. end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Joseph connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Throwing again on second down. Allen will find Gabriel Davis. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 28. To the air, Allen. Escaping the pressure right, and that is incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 17-yard line. Forced out to it, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 
Call that a very strong gain of 24. Now Allen going to back away and call a timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, Vikings. Here's Allen to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yeah. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was okay, a well-timed collision to jar that one stop free. Stop it in this game. On second and goal, Allen. Oh, a ball bat oh in the he threw another interception. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts in the season. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. No matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask. And that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. And he's got this to Jefferson. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. <laughs> with the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. He's got his man on the cross. Super Bowl champions, and the Lombardi Trophy is going back to the land of 10,000 lakes. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports. Yeah, so we won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58, and Justin Jefferson's raising the party trophy. If I can see that in real life, I'll be happy. Okay, well, that's it for this one, guys. So I guess, see you in the next one.